Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to get started with Power BI. To prepare for this demonstration, I have arranged two things. First, I have an Office 365 subscription, and also I have a file with some sales data. That I'm As you see here, I do not have Power BI on my Office 365 at the moment. That's one of my apps, so I need to connect Power BI to my Office 365. So I'm just going to go to powerbi.com and then I'll get started. And I'm just going to do the Power BI online for this. There's the desktop version that I'll show later. But this one, I'm just going to sign in with my Office 365 account. I'm already signed in in this browser. I'm going to start. In this case, I'm not going to invite any more people. I just want to do this for myself now. So I'll just skip the sending of invitations. And here we are. Now I'm in Power BI. If I refresh this now, I'll be able to see Power BI as one of my apps in Office 365. Let's see that. No, not yet. That will show up after a little while. All right. But let's uh, start creating my new uh, Power BI. And of course, uh, what I want to do is work with data. So I'm going to import some data. And it's going to be a local file in this case. So I'll go to the, my desktop, pick the sales only file here. And that's going to elect me to import Excel data or upload the Excel file to Power BI. So I'm going to import the data. It's going to take a few seconds. And here it's done, sales only. And now I can uh, view the data set. And here is my data. Now you'll see that I have all the information here. And notice these little symbols. Some of these are numbers that I can count with. And of course, I want to count with a line total. So I'm just going to drag that in here. And that gives me a bar. You see it's, that's the default, the you know, clustered column chart. So that's how I can illustrate now. So if I want to see that by branch, I'll, I'll select this part and put the branch in there also. There we go. Now I can see that by branch, of course. So that's how you, you work with this. You take information, you drag it into your dashboard. So let's put something else here. I'm just going to drag in color, do the same thing over again. And now this gets shown as a grid. I want to take that as a um, slicer. You might know slicers from Excel. This is the same idea. So now when I click these things, you'll notice that the chart to the left gets updated when I select things in here. Let's do another one. This time, group it by product category. I'll make sure to select that one. And then I'll make that a pie chart. It's always nice. Let's put those two together there. And again, of course, both these two now update when I select something in there. So that concludes my demo on getting started with Power BI. We have signed up for Power BI, we've imported some data, and we've created our first dashboard. Thank you for watching.